There are two main ways that people sculpt in Blender. The first is to jump right into sculpt mode and start sculpting. When you sculpt this way, no more geometry is made than what is already there. Things can get a little messy. This method is still useful for making small changes. The second way to use sculpting is to turn on something called Dine Topo, dynamic typology. In order to turn this on, you need to delete the UV map. It can be found in the data tab. Then when you go into sculpting mode, you can find Dine Topo on the top right. When you turn it on, it will increase the number of faces. In some cases, this can get out of hand. The single mark that I made created 20,000 faces. For this reason, when sculpting with dynamic topology, it helps to understand how to reduce the number of faces. The easiest way is to use the decimate modifier. The decimate modifier will reduce the number of faces and attempt to keep the shape. This is before and after. The downside of the decimate modifier is that it creates triangles along the surface. This can cause problems in animation. So if you need to use sculpting and have good geometry, retopology is what you'll want to do. There are some good add-ons like RetopoFlow to help streamline the process. But in general, retopology is about creating a brand new mesh. And retopology, unlike the decimate modifier, tends to use quads instead of triangles. Now that you've been introduced to sculpting, I hope you enjoy it.